suck down a bug. <clears throat> I should have never went with that. The way I'm doing it is not the correct way. <laughs> Should have never went with ham joint. If you're thinking about them, don't do it. Hey y'all, it's Brandon. So today I'm gonna show you how to quiet the squeaks when you use ham joint. Now let's go back a couple years, I guess maybe two years ago now, that I finished solid axle swap. I cheaped out. I went with ham joints instead of good flex joints and poly bushings. And if you did like me and took the cheap route and used ham joints then this video may help. All right, so I snuck back in the shop out of the mosquitoes. 
and in the little bit of air conditioning I have in the shop. So as you can see, I got, I got the Suburban up on ramps and here's what I use to, uh, to quiet my hind joints. So I use this WD-40 Specialist. It's a dry loop with PTFE. It really conditions the inside of those heim joints um, where that plastic is. And it usually keep it quiet for a few months. What you see me doing here, so I twist the suspension up, I clean the uh, heim joints, I will spray them down with the PTFE, spray the dry loop, I'll back it down, I'll twist it the opposite direction, spray the heim joints again, and usually that'll get enough of that dry lube in there to quiet them down for a few months. All right, so I'm hugging this air conditioner. I am out. I've used it all. I only got to spray a couple of heim joints. I didn't realize I was so low on it. Um, so I'm gonna run the Napa in the morning and then see y'all tomorrow. All right, it's been two days. It's rained the past two days, but that's fine because nobody had what I need. I went to Napa, they didn't have it. I went to O'Reilly's, they didn't have it. AutoZone didn't have it. I thought maybe Walmart. Walmart didn't have it either. They had silicone spray, but not PTFE. So I went back to Napa. I talked to the guy at the counter. He told me, he said, you know what? If you will use that, He'll keep it on the shelf so he ordered the case of it so now i have five sitting on the shelf waiting for me if i need them again the way i'm doing it is not the correct way you should clean and lubricate these heim joints at the end of this video i'll show you how the heim joints are really supposed to be cleaned instead of the jack leg way that i'm doing it so let's go over there and clean them heim joints in the vehicle all right so i'm gonna start on the side that i believe is the uh is the squeak grab a wrench so I can rotate it a little bit. All right, so I'll spray it a couple times, rock it back and forth. So like on that joint there. So I'll rock it to one side and then I will spray it. I'll rock it the other way, I'll spray it. And then when I'm done with it, I'll leave it straight like it is there. All right, so you can see it's straight there. See, I hose that one down there too.
handled that until I could feel that that uh, liquid had dried. So it tightened up a little bit. All right. So on this side, I have a bushing. Not worried about it. This side here, I have a bushing here and a hive joint here. But all that does is adjust the angle, my pinion angle. So there's not really any flex in those joints. But I'm gonna go ahead and squirt, squirt them down. I'm gonna go ahead and squirt them down just to make sure they don't rust. I really need to start replacing all these hind joints with some expensive flex joints and then I wouldn't have to worry about doing this. You know, maybe once, once a year I could squirt some grease in those bushings and uh, not worry about it. This joint here, this big inch and a quarter joint, it is the only one that really does any flexing. And I really cannot get a, I can't rock it back and forth. The only thing I can do is move it up and down on this one. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and right over your head, I'm gonna spray that one too. That way, whenever I swap the ramps to the different tires, it'll flex the opposite direction and move them just a little bit. I see my axle tubes leaking. See, so you look at that. See that? So the seal, in my axle tube at the axle disconnect is leaking. Well, that stinks. All right, mosquitoes and sweat. So I'm going to back it off of the ramps, swap the, uh, swap the corners with the ramps and flex it the opposite direction. the exact same thing on the opposite side and take it for a drive see if it squeaks All right, so here's the video I promised you. We're gonna put this on the bench and I'm gonna show you how to properly clean and lubricate your hind joint. Um, so I got on the, uh, the old Google machine and I just asked it how to properly clean and lubricate a hind joint with a Teflon race. And their AI machine popped it up here. Now, if you, uh, if you wanna pause and read this, you can go right ahead. But I'm basically going to go through it. I'm going to talk you through it right now. So you would pull a whole link, one link at a time out of the vehicle. Now you support the vehicle and do all the safety measures that you feel like you need to do. I'm not going to tell you how to do that. But you can pull one link of the vehicle out at a time. Bring it in here and set it on the bench. Before you pull the link out. If you've driven down some roads and they got tar, you know, they've been doing pavement and there's tar all over your hind joints, before you even pull it out of the vehicle, take and hose that down with some WD-40. Get that tar and grease or whatever's on that hind joint and just spray regular WD-40 on it and clean it. WD-40 makes a great cleaner. It cleans paint off your hands clean grease it cleans tar i mean pretty much anything that's oil based this wd-40 will clean it off of whatever you don't want it on all right now after you have taken it to the pressure washer 
or the car wash and blown all that tar off the hind joints and you got it cleaned up real good now you can pull that whole link out and bring it set it in here on the table look at it and if it's still kind of grummy still kind of nasty use some regular soap and water regular soap and water and clean this thing up really well the reason is especially sand you don't want the sand to get inside those races and chew those races up so try to clean them up the best you can. So after you get them clean, you can take this ball and rock it side to side. And if it won't rock side to side like this, if it won't move easy like that, you get your favorite dead blow hammer or your favorite rubber mallet. And the everything crap out of that thing until it breaks loose. All right, so once it breaks loose, you can take that bearing in there and slide it sideways and do a good job of cleaning, spin that bearing, get it nice and clean in there. And then after you get it cleaned up pretty good, the bearing will move. There's no slopping it side to side or up and down, whichever way there's no play in it. Then you can take your favorite dry lube with PTFE. Now, this WD-40, I can get it on the shelf now. I kind of had a hard time getting that new one. Um, but you can also get some stuff that's called Tri-View. Tri, no, Tri-Flow. I'll post a picture of it now. And it supposedly works pretty good. Um, pretty much anything that has PTFE in it to recondition these Teflon races inside these time joints now i looked at barnes four-wheel drive they have time joints that are teflon and kevlar based races on them i'm going to assume you can treat them with a ptfe uh, lubricant just like you can these i got on their website and i couldn't find any instructions of how to clean and lubricate them so I'm going to go on the assumption that you can do it just like I'm going to. All right. So you take, take that hind joint, spin that bearing around, make sure it's nice and clean all the way around. If you can get in there with a rag or something and try to clean this race. Get in there, look at the race, make sure there's no crud in there. Take your lubricant. You can spray it on the ball. Try to get it down in there in the races. You take take that, that bearing and slide it sideways just a little bit. And you can see, let me do it this way. It'll be easier for you to see. You can see there's a little pocket in there where you can get some lube. Squirt it down in there. Kind of work it around. You can do the same on the other side. Get it down in there. All right, then you can you know, work it side to side and then try to take your bearing and spin it to where now you can get to the race here and here lubricate that thing go all the way around with it if you can grab the bearing and rotate it to really get that ptfe paste around this race You'll be doing good so this one of course it's it's pretty much brand new it was on the truck for like three months and that was it so you can see it's it's a good joint now a joint that you pull off the truck that's been on the truck for two years it may be a different story um, if it's damaged say if it's if it's been smashed this way and you can't rotate the bearing or have been crammed against a rock and you can't rotate the bearing just buy a new one. They're more expensive now than what they used to be. But this joint here, I think when I bought this one, it was $45. Now they're about $55. In my opinion, unless you're building a race car or a buggy, throw these things away and get good joints. Now I cheaped out and 
I went with Heim joints and I regret it now because they require so much maintenance. Um, if you don't mind doing maintenance or if you have time to do maintenance or somebody else does your maintenance, don't worry about it. Just uh, do it. But I will slowly be swapping these to uh, probably the Barnes four wheel drive joints. Um, I have a couple other bushings on the vehicle as you've seen. And as these wear out or I get tired of those squeaking, I will be swapping everything to some type of better joint than a hind joint. All right, so that's how I clean hind joints and the way you should probably clean your hind joints. I'm gonna keep cleaning them the way I do it. You do it however you want. So I appreciate you watching the video. If you don't mind, please comment. Tell me what you think. Should I keep the hind joints? Should I, uh, should I go with actual better flex joints? Just let me know. Tell me what you think. Um, if you like the video, please let me know. If you don't like the video, tell me in the comments why. Um, try to be a little educational here. Again, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Y'all have a good one.